God, the most beneficent and the most merciful. All praise be to Him, our Creator and our Sustainer. I begin in His name and I send my peace and blessings upon Muhammad and his holy progeny and I send my condolences to the Imam of my time. Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntadhar, may Allah hasten his reappearance on the tragic occasion of his mother Fatima al-Zahra as martyrdom between the door and the nail. In our previous episode, we analyzed the events that led up to the attack on the house of Fatima, the slapping of her face, the kicking of her stomach, the lashing of her back and her arms by Ibn Suhaq. And tonight, I will begin with this piece of poetry. This piece of poetry by Al Allama Al Qazwini who died in the year 1335 after Hijrah. This piece of poetry materializes the entire event of the attack on the house of my lady Fatima, peace be upon her. He says, قَالَ سُلَيْمٌ قُلْتُ يَا سَلْمَانُ هَلْ دَخَلُوا وَلَمْ يَكُنْ إِسْتِئْذَانُ he says, Sulaim said something, said I, O oh Salman. Faqala ay wa izzatil jabbari wa ma ala al zahra'i min khimari. Lakinaha la that wara al babi ra'ayatan lil sitri wal hijabi. He says, by Allah, did they really enter without permission? Sulaim is talking to Salman in the famous hadith found in Kitab Sulaim ibn Qais al-Hilali. Did they really enter the house of Fatima to Zahra without permission? He said, yes, by the glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> While al Zahra had no protection on her. He says, فَمِذْ رَأَوْهَا عَصَرُوهَا عَصْرَ كَادَتْ بِنَفْسِي أَنْ تَمُوتَ حَسْرَ نَادَتْ أَيَا فِضَّةُ أَسْنِدِينِي فَقَدْ وَرَبِّي أَسْقَتُ جَنِينِي فَأَسْقَطَتْ بِنْتُ الْهُدَى جَنِينُهَا ذَلِكَ الْمُسَمَّى مُحْسِنَا he says, behind the door, Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her, sought refuge. Observing the rules of the veil, observing the rules of the hijab. When they saw her, they did squeeze her, almost killing her. May my life be her ransom, she said. O oh, Fidda, support me. Support me for surely have they killed my fetus this very day. She miscarried the daughter of guidance, O oh grief, miscarried her son, the one who was called Muhassin. Poetry, like our reports, like the historical reports and analyses from the traditionists, from the historians give us an event of what happened to Sayyidah Fatima. If you refer to the book Al-Hijum Ala Bayti Fatima, the attack on the house of Fatima, or the report, the book, sorry, titled Ma'asatu Zahra. These two books, the tragedy of Zahra and the attack on the house of Fatima are translated in English. You will find the compiler of the book recording poetry from approximately the year 150 or sorry 170 from Sayyid al Himyari all the way until contemporary scholars today. Poetry tells a story. Poetry is one of the ways where we can prove the mazlumi of Sayyidah Fatima. 
So if one asks us a question and says to us, these are all lies and fabrications, and none of the Shia of the ulama believed, tell them, a Sayyid al-Himyari wrote beautiful pieces of poetry concerning Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra, and he lived at the time of Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, and at the time of Imam al kadhim peace be upon him. What does Sayyid al-Himyari say? Sayyid al-Himyari died in the year 173 after Hijrah. He says, <coughs> Beaten she was and of her rights deprived and was made to taste after his demise of wounds. God severed the hands that did this to her and of that who agreed and followed sweet. God may never forgive them nor spare them the honor of leaving the grave. These are two examples from a scholar like Al-Allam Al-Qazwini which is not approximately about a hundred years from today's time and somebody like Sayyid Al-Himyari who was praised by Imam Al-Sadiq peace be upon him who lived in the school of Imam Al-Sadiq peace be upon him 1000 years ago tells us the tragedy of Fatima Al-Zahra and this is only the beginning part of his poetry <coughs> So I ask you, my dear viewers, to please go and research and you will find the answers. Now, today I want to end this beautiful journey, this beautiful series with the complaints and the shakwat of the Imams, peace be upon him. I will begin with Imam al-Baqir, peace be upon him. Imam al-Baqir was once asked by Abu Basir concerning the signs of the coming of Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntadhar, may Allah hasten his reappearance. He began to tell him, these are the signs of the Imam, such and such sign, until he said heartbreaking words. He said, the firewood that was collected to burn the house of my mother Fatima, we still have it till today and we inherited Imam after Imam until the Qa'im of Al Muhammad. The Ahlul Bayt still have the firewood that was used <coughs> to burn, to burn the house of Fatima to Zahra. The tragedy of Fatima to Zahra in the hearts of Ahlul Bayt some reports say that it hurts us more than the tragedy of Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, on the day of Karbala, when he was massacred and murdered in cold blood, and his companions and his family members, the youngest of them, Ali al Azgar, Abdullah al Radi', peace be upon him, was slaughtered on these lands of Karbala. These days of Fatima to Zahra behind the door and the wall calling out to Rasulullah hurts us more than the tragedy of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. The poet says, هَلْ أَتَاكَ خَبَرُ الْمِسْمَارِ سَلْ صَدْرَهَا وَزَالَةِ الْأَحْزَانِ He says, did the news of the nail reach you when it pierced my mother? Fatima to Zahra and out revealed all the secrets. I mentioned to you before that Sayyidah Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, is the Rams, the pillar, the column, the flag that is the flag of Wilaya and Bara'a. When questions begin to arise, when you begin to ask questions about how did Fatima to Zahra die, every single uncovered secret becomes unveiled. There is no more majal, there is no more corner for you to go to concerning the secrets that will be unveiled when you read the haditha of Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, alayhi salati was salam. Now, I want you to listen to the next two reports that I will narrate to you. The complaints 
and the tears of Imam al kadhim alayhi salam and Imam al Jawad, peace be upon him, concerning the tragedy of their mother, Fatima al Zahra'i, peace be upon her. The first hadith is found in Kitab al Tarf li Sayyid Ali ibn Tawus. The Senad is the following Naqlan an Kitab al Wasiyya li Shaykh Isa ibn al Mustafad al Dharir. عن موسى بن جعفر عن أبيه قال Listen to the words of Imam Al-Kadhim peace be upon him from his father As-Sadiq peace be upon him قال لما حضرت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم الوفاة دع الأنصار وقال إلا إن فاطمة بابها بابي وبيتها بيتي فمن هتكه فقد هتك حجاب الله قال عيسى فبكى أبو الحسن عليه السلام طويلا وقطع بقية كلامه وقال هتك والله حجاب الله هتك والله حجاب الله هتك والله حجاب الله يا أم صلوات الله عليك Imam al-Sadiq is narrating to Imam al-Kadhim alayhi salam. He says, when the time of Rasulullah's death came near, he asked the Ansar to come. He began to speak about the manaqib of Fatima al-Zahra. And then he said, indeed, the door of Fatima, peace be upon her, is my door. And her house is my house. So whoever transgresses this house and disgraces it has disgraced and transgressed the hijab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It says, the narrator says, Abu al-Hasan, Imam al-Kadhim, peace be upon him, began to cry for a very long time because he remembered his mother Fatima. He began to cry for a long time and he did not continue his speech to me. Then he began to say, Wallah, by Allah, the hijab of Allah has been transgressed. Wallah, by Allah, the hijab of Allah has been transgressed. Wallah, Wallah, the hijab of Allah has been transgressed. Then he says, peace and the blessings of Allah be upon you, O Mother Fatima. He started remembering what happened to his mother Fatima to Zahra and Imam al Kadhim began to cry and they tell us today do not cry this is one narration the second hadith is Imam al-Jawad peace be upon him this hadith is found in Dala'il al-Imama of Muhammad ibn Jarir al-Tabari al-Imami akhbarani Abu al-Hussein Muhammad ibn Harun ibn Musa qal حدثني أبي رضي الله عن عن جعفر محمد بن الحسن بن أحمد بن الوليد حدثنا محمد بن أحمد بن أبي عبد الله البرقي عن زكريا بن آدم إني كنت عند الرضا عليه السلام إذ جاء بأبي جعفر الجواد وعمره أربع سنوات ذا زكريا سز I was with my master Imam al-Rida salamullahi alayhi gharib al-Ghuraba when his son Imam al-Jawad peace be upon him came and he was at that time four years old picture this picture picture Imam al-Rida and picture al-Jawad coming to Imam al-Rida what does he say? فَضَرَبَ بِيَدِهِ إِلَى الْأَرْضِ وَرَفَعَ رَأْسَهُ إِلَى السَّمَاءِ فَأَطَالَ الْفِكْرِ He hit his hand on the ground. He raised his head to the skies. And he began to think, reminisce and remember. فَقَالَ لَهُ الرَّضَى عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ بِنَفْسِي أَنْتِ لِمَا طُلْتَ بِفِكْرَكِ 
بِنَفْسِي أَنْتْ لِمَا طَالَ فِكْرُكْ He tells him, May my soul be ransomed for you. Why is it? Why is it that you spent a long time reminiscing and remembering and thinking? Al-Jawad alayhi salam, four years old, says, Fi ma sana'a bi ummi Fatima. I began to remember what they did to my mother Fatima to Zahra. إن يفكر بما صنع بأمي فاطمة أما والله لأخرجهنما أما والله by Allah I will remove them I will remove those two ابن أبي قحافة and ابن الخطاب burn those two I want to remove those two Burn those two and blow away their remains in the sea. This is Imam al Jawad, peace be upon him, four years, four years old. Then Imam al Rada alayhi salam said to him, Anta laha, yani al Imam. The Imam said, May my soul be sacrificed for you. The Imam truly is yours after me. Subhanallah, this action by Imam al Jawad, this bara'a, was needed for the completion of his wilaya. My dear brothers and sisters, my time is almost complete. One more hadith I will narrate to you. After Fatima al Zahra, peace be upon her, she got very weak, and the time of her death came. She told Asma, she told Asma, I'm going to go to my room and rest. If I do not answer you, means I have left this world. Al Hassan and Al Hussein, peace be upon them, came. She said, Ya Asma, Aina Ummina Fatima. They told them, Oh Hassan, Oh Hussein, your mother's asleep. Come back a different time. She told them, your mother's asleep, come back a different time. al Hassan and Hussein said, when does my mom sleep at this hour? She usually is supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and praying. They went inside the room and they saw Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, has left this world. They began to say, Ya Ummah, Ya Zahra, answer us, O Fatima. Answer us, O Fatima, no answer. Asma told them, Ya Hassanan, go to your father in the masjid and inform him of your mother's passing away. They went to the masjid. They began crying and the companions saw them. They said, why are you crying? May my life and my soul be sacrificed for you. Is it because you remembered your grandfather Rasulullah? They said, no, but our mother Fatima to Zahra has passed away. Ali ibn Abi Talib, I ask you, Ali ibn Abi Talib, Qali Ubabu Khaybar, he would leave battle with wounds on his face, a lion in battle, a fierce lion in battle. Asadullahu al Ghalib, Ali ibn Abi Talib, when he heard the cries of Al Hassan and Al Hussein, when he heard that Fatima al Zahra had passed away, Ali ibn Abi Talib fell face down on the floor to the point where they had to sprinkle water on his face for him to wake up. Ali ibn Abi Talib, who Ammar, when he came inside the house, he saw Ali ibn Abi Talib with his head between his knees. <laughs> Crying. He said, why do you cry, ya Mawla? You tell us to be patient and sabur. He said, you did not see what I see when I was washing and doing the ghusl of Fatima to Zahra. My hand touched one of her ribs and it was broken. I removed her shirt and I saw her hands black. From the wounds of the lashes of Ibn al-Khattab al-Khunfub. 
إنا لله إنا إليه راجعون اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد My dear brothers and sisters Thank you for joining me on this program I apologize for any shortcomings And I pray that you will remember us in your dua And inshallah in the future We can contribute more to you And we ask Fatima to Zahra peace be upon her Ya Allah بحق فاطمة وأبيها وبعلها وبنيها والسر المستودع فيها يا الله by the right of Fatima her father her husband and her two sons and the secret bestowed in Fatima cure those who are sick those who are captive bring them home protect the Shia of Amir al Mu'minin and protect every single human on this world who has been unjustly treated. O oh Allah, by the right of Fatima, my master, my mawla, Imam al-Mahdi, you can listen to me right now when you hear me. Accept these tears. Accept these tears. Protect the Muslimin. Protect the believers all over the world. <clears throat> and I ask Allah, by your right, to give us the tawfiq and the guidance to serve the holy household. Peace be upon you, my lady Fatima. Assalamu alayki, ya Fatima to Zahra. May Allah hasten the reappearance of my Mawla, Imam al Mahdi al Muntadar, Ruhi lahu al Fida. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.